Hello and welcome to 101 Redstone Basics. I'm Sabine Hatt and I'll be your host for tonight. So today we have a look on the end gate. There is a large gate inside Minecraft, consists of two or more inputs and one output. And you only get the output to turn on when all the inputs are turned on as well. So in front of me I have a base design, consists of two inputs represented by the green blocks and one output represented by the redstone line. So when we power one of the inputs, nothing will happen. The same with the other, but when you power both of them, the output will turn on. So what happens is when you have the input turned off, this redstone torch will be turned on and powering this torch, so it won't give an output. When we have one of the inputs turned on, this redstone torch will be unpowered, but this other torch will be still powering this line, so it will still turn off this torch, but when we power both of the inputs, no no signal will come to this line, so it will let the output turn on. So here we have another design that works the same way. So if you power both of the inputs, this line will turn off and let the output turn on. But the difference with this design is that we can have the inputs on the side of each other and we can also stack them together. So we can have more than two inputs at a time. As can see. So that's basically it. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments. But I think that's all I got for you today. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.